Hey everyone! Thank you for coming back to watch my next how-to video and for this week's project I thought I would do something, it's only little, but it has a lot of meaning, a lot of significance, especially with all the tragedy that's happened um, just last weekend in Orlando with the mass shooting at a gay club. It is something that I feel needs to be shown some support and love and as small as this project is I just hope that it just will send a little bit of love and care out there. The item we're going to make is just a little bracelet in the gay pride colours and it is just something that you can wear simply when out and about or to any festivals that you might be attending in the coming weeks. So let's get on and start making. The things you're going to need for this project are a beadboard to organise your design, a pair of cutters or scissors, some leather thread, some fabric glue to secure the ends and your beads and the beads I've chosen are these glass silver lined puffy hearts and I just thought by using heart shaped beads it just adds a little bit more love to the whole um, finished piece and I've got them in the colours of the gay pride flag and that is a purple, blue, green, yellow, orange and red and then I've got some spacer beads which are faceted crystals just to add a little bit of sparkle. Just to make it a little bit easier when you're threading everything together I like to line my beads up on the bead board and we'll put them in the order so we start with a purple, a crystal, a blue, a crystal green, a crystal. Now this is supposed to be a yellow bead. It is a very limey green bead but unfortunately I wasn't able to get a yellow one but um, it works with the constraints that I've got. And then a crystal bead, an orange bead and a red bead. There we go. Just put that to one side for the moment. I'm going to take the length of leather thread and leave a certain amount of thread on one end and tie a knot and secure and you'll use that knot to stop all the beads from flying off so we start at the other end and start threading our beads as I'm finding there the thread has become a little bit frayed making it hard to get through the beads so I'm just going to cut the thread at an angle to give us a little bit of a point. There we go. All of our hearts are now threaded on and interspersed with the um, crystal faceted beads and I'm just going to tie another knot in this end. Try to keep it as close as you can to the last bead. And just secure it. There we go. The easiest way to create a bracelet is to secure the ends so that they are in a sliding knot so that you can take it on and off and adjust it when you need to. And the way you do that is to take the two ends of your bracelet and cross them over so that they are parallel and you take an extra piece of cord and for the purposes of this demonstration it will make it easier to see the knot I'm using a slightly different colour take the extra piece and form a loop in the end lay that loop and make sure that you've got a, a tail Lay that loop next to your original pieces so that you have then four pieces of cord. Taking the longer end of the cord, you need to wrap it around all four pieces three or four times. Once 
Once you've done that, take the end and pass it through the loop. Hold it in place and pull the loop closed. Then keeping everything in place, pull on both ends of the extra piece that you've just added and it will close the loop up. And you will be left with a knot that allows your bracelet to slide open and closed. To secure the knot to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere, just tie a little knot, another little knot, in each end. You can then cut off the excess. And this is the knot that you're left with. And as you can see, both sides of the bracelet then slide through it. To finish the bracelet off and to limit the amount of excess that you've got, place it over your hand and wherever the widest part of your hand is, tighten the bracelet to it, making sure that the knot's almost even. So I should be able to pass it over that part of my hand. Take it off carefully and tie a knot in the two ends of the original part of the bracelet. And cut off the excess. We have our finished bracelet with lots of love, sparkle, and support for Gay Pride. So here we have our finished bracelet and yeah, like I said it is just a very simple bracelet but it shows the solidarity in the colours of the Gay Pride flag and it's something simple to wear for every day and to any upcoming festivals that you might be attending. So some of you might want to know what the colours mean and they do have a significance. The red is for life, the orange is for healing, the yellow is for sunlight, the green is for nature, the blue is for harmony and the purple is spirit. So they all have their individual meanings and they mean something and that's why they were put together for the Gay Pride flag colours. I hope the whole project was interesting for you and I will be back again on Monday with my weekly update.